The Sampan Hitch. Hello everybody, welcome back. And today's little knot, as I said, is the Sampan Hitch. And basically what I'm going to do in today's little video is I'm going to transport you to the east, somewhere exotic. However, if you actually live there, hmm, not a very good video for you then, is it? Because you won't be transported anywhere. But anyway, a sampan, if you're interested, a sampan is one of these and often found in the east. And let me read what it says in Ashley's with regards to this hitch. The sampan hitch is used very generally throughout the east for tying up river boats according to Captain E. H. Pentecost, who first showed me the knot. The end of the painter, after passing through the ring, is led back to deck. The hitch is completed by sticking successive loops. It is instantly spilled from the deck with a, by a smart pull on the ends of the line. So in other words, when you're actually tying this particular knot, or hitch, what you're looking for is that there is the line that attaches to my vessel and this line here has to be long enough to reach back from your tie-off point here onto your actual vessel. Okay, now having said that, I wonder if it can be tied in another way and I'll show you that in the second part of this video. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on and tie the sampan knot. Or hitch, sorry, whoa, hitch. So see you on the other side. Right, so the first way that we're gonna tie this is as per the drawing, just there. And then the second way I'm gonna show you is probably how I interpret it that it would be tied, if you see what I mean. And I've seen videos online before where they're actually showing the actual hitch itself being tied right up against the ring here. But I personally wonder if it wasn't actually tied on the deck of the vessel itself. But let's show you both ways because both are almost the same and we'll see how it's done. So here is my tie off point on the jetty and the green end here is my working end and leading to the bottom left hand side to my vessel. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to pass our working end through or around the object that we're going to actually tie off onto. And then the next thing that we want to do is we want to pull through enough of our rope so that the working end is back on the deck of our vessel. And you'll see why when we actually tie, uh, when we actually release it. So now that we've done that, we now, in my left hand, I've got my standing end and in my right hand, I've got my working end. And what I'm going to do now is just pinch them together like that so that my standing end is going over the top of my working end and my working end is going down at right angles to my standing end. Once I've done that, I then get hold of my working end here and I form a bite. I then pass that bite. So you can see here we've created where we've pinched these two here we've created a loop at this point here and what I'm going to do now is pass that bite through that loop. So I pass the bite down through that loop and it comes out at the bottom there. And you can see there's there's my bite that I've just passed through the loop. And what we can do now is just draw that up a little bit more because we don't want too much slack up here at the ring section. And then once we've done that, the next thing I do is that bite there, I pass it over everything until it passes over my standing end and my standing end is that one there. So there's my working end and then I'm passing that bite there over everything until we pass it over my standing end. I then just dive down or push up with my fingers a little bit of a bite from the standing end at that point there. And you can see there now, I've got a bite just there at that point. I now take my working end and in my working end, I form another bite and then pass that bite through the bite of my standing end and then just gently pull up tight and there we have it, 
we have one in number, Sampan, not a uh, hitch as such. So, and then the whole idea is, remember I said my working end had to be long enough to go back to the vessel. So in other words, it's all the way back to the vessel. And if we want to leave, I don't need to get off my vessel to actually undo this particular knot because of the working end being on the vessel. And all I need to do is actually pull it. But the, I, there's a couple of issues I have here. One is, yes, we've got a nice quick release slip knot here, but we could, if we wanted to, put a piece of dowel through it or take the end of our working end and pass it through to give us more security to prevent it from tripping. But the issue I have here, and this is why I'm, with this picture that it shows in Ashley's, I'm not happy that my knot is up on the jetty, whereas I would personally prefer it to be on my actual vessel itself. And maybe I'm, you know, it's just the way I interpret it. But if something should an accident should happen, it's more my fault than some dockyard labourer walking past and accidentally tripping this. So anyway, but I'll show you in a minute to tie that next method. So anyway, once we've tied this, this is really secure. It's a really good little secure knot. It's as secure as it can be because it's actually got a quick release in it. And so anyway, if say for example, we've loaded, unloaded our goods, whatever we tied up for, on my vessel, all I need to do now is actually pull on my working end. And you can see as I pull on my working end, this all starts to unravel and come undone. And eventually we slip and we can then sail off down whatever river. Okay, so anyway, that is one way of tying it, but I wonder if it really was tied this way. But because I'm still learning knots, please leave me a comment down below and you tell me which version is the correct version or are they both the right version or you've seen it done in a particular way. So anyway, let's get on and let's tie the next one. Right, so the second method of tying it, rather, here is our tie off point here, but rather than have the knot off the vessel or the hitch off the vessel itself, I personally, I would prefer it if the hitch was actually on the vessel so I have more control and there's less chance of, like I said before, some docky coming along and accidentally tripping the mechanism and there's me all at sea for no reason. So anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the following. I'm going to take my working end again and I'm going to pass my working end through the tie-off point or around the tie-off point on the actual jetty itself. So in other words, that is my standing end, which is going towards my vessel. And what I'm going to do now is pull a whole load through so that I can now physically tie this knot on the vessel as opposed to against the ring shoreside. So let's move that out the way. And hey, presto, we've magically landed on our vessel. So ring is up there and the left hand one is my standing end and the right hand one is my working end. And once again, to tie this, all we do is just pinch it off so the standing end is over the top of the working end. And what I've done is I've just taken my line out here at right angles to my working end. And the next thing I do is I get a bite, form a bite in my working end. And then that bite of the working end you can see here now, we've got a really large loop has appeared here. And all I'm going to do now is pass that working end down through that large loop that's created there. Keep, keep the bite there. Keep the bite in it. And now you can see I've got a bite. The bite has appeared underneath there. The next thing I want to do is just take that bite. So take the whole bite and pass it over everything. So pass it over everything. And then until it passes over my standing end at that point there. So there's my standing end. If I just put my marlin spike in there, there's my standing end. And the next thing I want to do is just form a bite in my standing end, just enough to come through. And then with my working end now, I form a bite in that again and pass that bite 
through the bite of the standing end. And there we have it. We now have one in number, Sampan Hitch. And as you can see, so in other words, this now is on my vessel. I would prefer the actual not to be on my vessel, simply for the fact is, if anybody accidentally trips it, it's my fault. Nobody else's, you know. And once again, like I said before, you could put some form of toggle in. So in other words, if I accidentally pull that, it's not going to come undone. Or if you've got enough working in there, pass that through that previous bite. The trouble is, it doesn't make it so much of a quick release. But to release this, all I need to do is pull it out of that bite there and then just gently pull on it, let it all go and you can see how easily it falls to pieces and then just collect up all my rope and wave goodbye to whoever loaded or unloaded our vessel. And so there you have it. That is the sampan hitch and so if you do know more about it, you've seen it being used, please tell me. Is it the way that the diagram shows in Ashley's actually attached to the ring or is it actually tied on the actual vessel itself? I don't know. I'm still learning. If you know, please tell me. So anyway, once again, and I'll see you again next time. Take care then. Bye-bye.